Welcome to Corbin's Coasters and More. Coaster Bites is a new series inspired by the complex nature of Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket at Universal Studios Florida. Even the name is overly complicated. I have this coaster ranked number 32 all time out of nearly 200 credits, and many would argue with that. I think that, especially on the front, the ride is smooth, with a little bit of a rattle, and has some elements that may not be completely unique, but they're not found everywhere, including the non-inverted loop. The intense drop from the block break into an upward helix. And the fly by the station where the ride dumps everyone on their side. Rip Ride Rocket is the only Mauer X car coaster in the United States. For a manufacturer known for making wild mouses and kitty rides, this thing is pretty massive, especially compared to its surroundings. It's one of the only rides you can see from the road at Universal Orlando and stands at 167 feet, which you climb vertically on your back. The ride goes 65 miles an hour on the first drop into the loop and never lets up from there. Although there are a couple of spots where it feels like you're going upside down, Rip Ride Rocket actually has zero inversions, but it does have a couple near misses both with itself and the New York scenery. It's an injector air machine and you gray out nearly every time coming through the aforementioned upward helix. And you really get to feel the ups and downs with the unobtrusive restraints that go around your body instead of clamping down on it. These are probably my favorite restraints on any coaster except for clamshells. The ride is just long enough with four distinct sections and I haven't even mentioned the best part. You get to select music to go along with your ride, and most of the tracks go along pretty perfectly with the ride. The coaster comes through the station on a moving conveyor belt, so you have to be fairly quick about this. But when your lap bar is lowered, you'll see a touch screen on the bar. So you can do it the easy way and select the category, such as country or rock, then choose your song from the list. I'll leave a link with the full list if you want to browse before riding, but some of the best selectable songs include Born to be Wild, Weirdly by Hinder, Stronger by Kanye West, That's the Way I Like It by KC and the Sunshine Band, and The Devil Went Down to Georgia by the Charlie Daniels Band. If you're too slow selecting, it will automatically play Busy Child by The Crystal Method, which does go perfectly with the ride, but I really can't stand the song. hate when it happens. Now, you may have heard of it, but there is actually a secret song list as well with tons of other song selections. The only caveat with these is that if you want the on-ride video at the end of the ride, you do have to use one of the standard songs. If you don't care about that, to access the secret menu, you hold down the Rip Ride Rocket logo at the top of the touchscreen for about five seconds and release. Make sure you release. This should bring up a number pad. There, you'll type in the three digit code from the secret song list and press OK. You do have to be kind of quick and depending on how quickly the operations are moving, you may or may not be stuck with Busy Child. But for me, it's worth the risk every time, especially when the line is short enough for rewrites. I've also left the link in my description to the secret song list. My favorites are 306 for Lose Yourself by Eminem, 124 for Diary of James by, by Breaking Benjamin, and 129 for Will in the Sky by Journey. But my absolute favorite, and don't knock it till you try it, is 904 for Night on Bald Mountain by Modit Musixis. And I can actually use it on my video because it's old enough to be in Creative Commons. So it's the classical song in the background right now. The hill peaks at the same time as the early climax of the song. Ironically, it's best known as being the song at the end of Fantasia, one of Disney's earliest movies, but it's best used on a universal ride. Makes me chuckle anyway. Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket is already a really fun, rewritable coaster, but I can literally ride six or seven times in a row just to get a different song choice each time, as to me they really do provide a new experience each time. I wish other parts would try something like this. One other thing you should know about this ride is, like other thrill coasters at Universal Orlando, you are required to put all of your belongings into free lockers before the ride. This includes hats, sunglasses, and anything in your pockets. You gotta go through a metal detector. I love the free locker system. You literally scan anything with a barcode, including your park ticket. And when you're done with the ride, you scan that same barcode and it opens your locker automatically. The free lockers easily fit a fanny pack and everything out of cargo shorts, 
and you can scan multiple barcodes if you need multiple lockers. If you have a large backpack, which I don't recommend for Universal for this reason, lockers are $2 per hour. I love the freedom of knowing that I'm not going to lose anything on the ride and that I won't be hit in the head with a cell phone. It also helps operations because nobody has to step over to leave things in a bin on the other platform. The only downside here is that you're without your phone for the entire queue, which means that if you want to play a secret list song, you'll have to memorize the three digit code and remember it until you get on the ride. The last tidbit I have about the coaster is that there is a single rider line, but it can move kind of slow since there are only two seats across on each row. Let me know in the comments what your favorite song to ride to is, and share this with any friends you know who might be going to Universal, or just want to rediscover some old music. It's a fun list to go through. As always, thanks for watching Corbin's Coasters and More.